already. And this is intended to be the uh, last meal for the juvenile bunnies here. I'm affectionately calling them babbits. I kind of have little names for each litter <laughs> that I raise. Um, and uh, so we finally gotten a, a lift of the, the rain and uh, temperatures are nice and mild but not too cold and I'm gonna let them eat, eat their last little meal here give them some water and uh, I'm gonna take them this evening for release and I've been pondering where I was going to do that because the the places that I originally wanted to release them which I thought were uh, going to be good habitats uh, there's been um, uh, quite a few instances of uh, heavy predation in those areas and um, bobcats have been spotted in both the locations where I was going to release them. So where I'm actually going to take these guys now is uh, over to uh, a cemetery that is over off of Southwest Parkway uh, in, in between in between um, one of the major roads here, Southwest Parkway and uh, uh, Lake Wichita. There's quite a bit of wild habitat that uh, comes up to the to the back of this cemetery and it's a nice big cemetery that's quiet you know it's not real busy it's well maintained but uh, there's quite a few rabbits out there already and a lot of clover uh, growing out there uh, and there'll be you know places for cover for them plenty to eat um, they won't have to worry too much about uh, you know vehicle uh, traffic and uh, things like that and uh, not too much worry about humans um, and so I think that would be a good place to release them that's what we're gonna do here in a little bit after I let them eat I'm gonna take them out there before um, before dusk hopefully I'm about to head out to release the uh, cottontails before dark. And this one here, I'm pretty sure this is my little runt bunny that I raised because she's the uh, always been the most uh, docile and tolerant of handling. The other ones I had trouble catching just to put in the uh, crate. Um, they uh, they kept jumping away and kicking and everything trying to get away and I can tell this this was uh, this was a little baby whose uh, life I struggled to save because she was a little runt she was losing weight and not eating when she was real little and I've always been able to tell by her personality and disposition uh, which one she was <laughs> time to go be uh, be wild be free bunny now baby. Let's go get them over to the cemetery and get them released before dark. All right, out at the cemetery just before there goes a cottontail bunny right there. Just before closing. It's nice and quiet out here. go right here in just a minute. Alright, got a little bit of clover right around here. Fortunately, there's still some stuff growing here. Alright, baby. 
babies. Come on, babies. Time you come out, be free. Be free, wild cottontail buddies. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. You want to be wild cottontails? Huh? Come on. Give them just a couple of minutes and, uh, See if they want to come out of there on their own. Try to encourage them to come out of there. Come on, babies. Come on, baby. Hi, baby. Poor baby. Is that my rut baby, huh? Come on. It's time to go be free, bunny. Go be a wild bunny now. Hmm? I'm gonna miss you. I miss you, bunny. Hmm. Here you go. Come on, baby. Oh, come here, baby. <laughs> Got one that was really feisty in there. There you go. Come on. There you go. Hey, how about bunny? Now, are you my little runt bunny? Hmm? You want to stay with me? Scared to leave? Okay, baby. This is a good spot for bunnies. Grass is always taken care of. Don't really have to worry about traffic. People don't really come here to walk their dogs much. They don't have to run from people's off-leash pets and things like that. Unfortunately, the nature of cemeteries is that they really don't get a lot of visitors you know outside of uh, you know if it was a veteran cemetery you know on Veterans Day or Memorial Day or, or something like that so in that respect it is uh, for unfortunate reasons a uh, uh, pretty good uh, habitat to release uh, cottontail bunnies Most of them have already taken to uh, doing what bunnies do. Two of them already eaten. And that one over there is hunkered down, you know, hiding. It's just a little, uh, little intimidated by its surroundings, but, uh, there is a part of me that I really um, I, I get upset at these things, at, at releasing them, because I know they're... Um, <laughs> and that one's happy. It's playing. 
there's jumping around and everything. If bunnies, bunnies play. See that? That's a happy bunny. That is a happy baby. Um, but uh, I, I do worry about them because you know they're they're on the ground in the wild now, and uh, even though they really won't have to worry that much about uh, vehicle traffic in here and uh, dogs and much for you know humans trying to hurt them they will have to be on guard for things like hawks and tonight you know owls um, that uh, these uh, these cemeteries they they are you know common for uh, owls to hang out in and they'll get hunted at night if they don't um, hide really well so but that's the breaks it's um you know the alternative is uh you know uh, being a, uh, a rescuer of wildlife, rehabilitating them and stuff, it's um, it's not realistic to keep everything that you rescue and try to safeguard it the rest of its life. You know, you can't do that. You won't be able to make room for rescuing uh, other animals, other orphans and things like that that come in. Uh, there's just not the uh, the room and space. So when the wild animals are grown up to the point where you know, they have to learn how to fend for themselves out in the wild. You, uh, you know, you got to turn them out. It's just, uh, you know, unfortunate that, uh, yeah, you can't shelter them and protect them their entire lives. But um, as that one over there was illustrating, hopping around and everything, they would much rather be wild. They're they're much happier, and I know I would be too. You know rather than being protected and sheltered and in a cage my entire life you know I would rather be free to take my chances <laughs> see, you see that 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 is a happy happy baby bunny it is so happy to be free hi baby you gonna come say thank you huh you saying thank you And that's the sort of thing that, that uh, you know, brings a smile to my face. That brings me joy. And, uh, you know, reinforces that you're doing, you're doing the right thing. That it, it's better for them to be free. Um, you, you don't do them any favors. You're keeping them in captivity their entire lives just because you, you don't want to take the chance that an owl might get them or, or something like that. That's that's no way for them to to live because they're uh, they're wild by nature. And for this one here, because I spent so much time raising her, holding her, and feeding her, and trying to save her life, giving her medicine and everything, and so she's just I don't know, not really ready. You're not really ready. You're not ready, baby. Be wild, huh? Me, baby. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, be careful. Live long and propagate, as I always tell them. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. I miss you, Runt Bunny.
running around the back of that uh, that stone there. Did a couple of couple of laps around it, just uh, playing with me, running running by me. Hi, baby. Yep, you can go run and play all you want. down the little drive here to leave them they uh, uh three of them started uh they started kind of following me you know like they just kind of expected to uh maybe go with me 